the uh, impact of this painting, you feel it every time you go in the museum. As you come through the main lead gallery in the museum, uh, you're drawn to that painting and it becomes a focal point for the museum and to me, for the university. I think there was always a thought that the Museum of Art on BYU's campus should have a cornerstone piece uh, that would be religious in nature. And that was found in Denmark in this chapel, that it had this altarpiece, Christ healing the sick at the Pool of Bethesda. We were very fortunate that the former dean and others had established relationships uh, in Denmark that allowed us to have the ability to work through all of the government regulations to have a piece of art like that leave Denmark was no small thing either. It had to go through their government to get that released. Uh, so it was all pretty uh, miraculous that it came together. Also, the timing. It was able to get through its shipping process just days before 9-11 in 2001. So that was kind of a miracle in and of itself to have uh, not have it held up or delayed or damaged. When you have a piece that is one of the masters from Denmark, Karl Bloch, and given the interest in his art and the size and dimension of the art, its placement as an altarpiece in a chapel there, it's just on the radar of the government. Yeah, the Danish Ministry of Culture would be aware of this art and be aware of exports of various pieces. So it would have to go through an application process to be allowed to leave the country. I think Bethesda was on their radar as a painting that might be available at some point and that would be ideal as a central point of focus for BYU campus. It has Christ as a central figure it has him as the subject of light in the painting. He's performing uh, an act of healing, which is an empathetic act that we would want all students at BYU to uh, think about and to want to, um, to the extent they can, also serve and help those around them. I would say that uh, acquiring Christ at the healing at the Pool of Bethesda was a uh, a great uh, changing or turning point of the museum to establish it as a place of religious art and spiritual revelation and, and spiritual growth at the university.